Within the skincare community, we're pretty aware that there are different types of retinoids, so tretinoin, dapolene, retinaldehyde, retinol, and the list goes on. And also that a lot of these products come in different like textures and different formulations. But did you know that tretinoin also comes in different formats? And I don't mean strengths, but actual textural differences. I don't think this is spoken about very much, probably because the actual availability of tretinoin in these different formats is not like widely applicable. I feel like the US has a lot of options. Australia is a bit more limited. I'm not even sure about like the UK, Europe, Asia, and all the other countries. I just wish this was maybe spoken about a little bit more just from like an awareness perspective so that people could at least like have the conversation with their doctors to see if they had options available in my opinion the actual texture and format that or like vehicle that is used for tretinoin makes a huge difference in the side effects and how it feels on the skin i've been using tretinoin for a few years now and i can guarantee like without hesitation that there that there's a noticeable difference between the different formats <laughs> I guess to summarize this simply, there are probably four main types of tretinoin that you'll come across. There's a traditional cream format, which is probably the most well-known. There's a compounded format, which is kind of like a, a mixed version that will come from the online services like Dematica, Skin Software, Apostrophe. This type of texture is a little bit varied. It just depends on what the service is and what texture they're providing. There's a gel format, and then there's a lotion format. <laughs> I'll actually start by discussing the compounded format. And as I mentioned, this is usually available through those online services or if you're maybe going to a compounding pharmacy. It's basically where a selection of ingredients are kind of mixed fresh. And this is often done in a pre-designated cream base or some sort of cream gel base. I only have personal experience with a couple of these services, the main one being Skin Software, and that was delivered in like a pump bottle in just a standard kind of cream texture. The main thing to note is these products often have a very short expiry date, so you have to use them relatively quickly, and that, pr that pricing can start to add up. I think it was costing me like $88 every two months, but I just wasn't getting through that level of product that quickly, so not only did I have a lot of waste, I was just throwing out tretinoin and then having to pay $88 constantly for product that I wasn't using. And in my experience, this version of tretinoin in a compounded cream was by far the most aggressive and it just caused side effects that I really wasn't able to deal with, so I stopped using tret. <laughs> The next category is a traditional cream format. I'll throw up some of the options on screen. These actually come from pharmaceutical companies and are tested in their formula in their delivery and stability. And the expiry is usually a long way off the point of purchase. I think I've had some tubes with like two year expiry on them. The texture of this is a little bit more like a gel cream. It's not particularly moisturizing after you apply it. You sort of just throw it on and it's there. I also found the cream version to be quite strong and more difficult to tolerate. Next up is a tretinoin microgel, probably became, which probably became my preferred format. Tretinoin microgel is essentially using like an encapsulation format to protect the molecule, but it also delivers it in like a slower release. This slow release makes it just much more gentle on the skin. It, it just feels like it's not as aggressive and my skin was able to tolerate it much better. I'm not saying there were no side effects. I still went through the retinization process, but in a, in a way that I was able to actually get on board with. So using hydrating essences and moisturizers was enough to kind of keep my skin in check without entirely falling off. Using the gel, I just never got to the point where my skin was like, red and raw and it definitely felt like that at times when I was using the compounded cream version. Plus from like a sensorial perspective the gel just has a very lightweight texture it, it just absorbs instantly it's very pleasant to use you almost don't even realize it's on your skin. If you have access to a micro gel I highly 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 recommend it at least have the conversation with your doctor and I think especially oilier skin types will appreciate it. The journey is just much easier.
I have seen some sort of articles online that suggest the microgel is usually recommended to all the oilier skin types in the cream format for dry. I just don't think the cream format is actually moisturizing enough where dry skin types would even really notice a difference. From memory, the microgel formats do contain alcohol, so potentially people experience that as a drying effect, but that's such like a fleeting sensation that I just don't think it will matter. Now the last one I want to talk about is a tretinoin lotion that I kind of in my mind consider a tretinoin serum. This is a particular brand name called Altrino. This uses micronized tretinoin as well but it's been blended with additional hydrating and kind of barrier support ingredients and that's why I think of it like a serum. They've added glycerin and collagen and hyaluronic acid so it's this all-in-one product that just entirely changes the experience of using tretinoin. It's like they've taken the principles of a hydrating barrier support serum and then sprinkled in the tret so it's like it's landing on your skin just so pleasantly I can't I just love it I haven't been using this very long I just recently switched to Altrino from the microgel but just from like a textural perspective the way my skin has been reacting with it I've been able to increase usage in my days with really no downside so I've loved incorporating it so much and I wish I had this at the start of my tret journey the texture ultimately does just feel like a tretinol and micro gel it's just a little bit more fluid a little bit more runny but otherwise if you've used a tret gel it's going to be very it's very much a similar experience I guess the reason I wanted to film this video is just a little bit of like an introduction of these formats and that there are options out there. I think as I said at the start, it's unfortunate, it's unfortunate they're not widely available so I don't know what's available where you live. Even in Australia where I live, El Trino is not around. I think the gel is kind of hard to get so... I had to just find a way to get the things that I wanted, which I probably can't speak about on YouTube, but if there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> but I just want to stress that if there are options available, definitely discuss them with your prescribing doctor because it could entirely change the experience that you have with TRET. And I personally highly, highly, highly recommend the gel at least if you don't have access to El Trino, which would probably be the best. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.